Okay, so today we're going to use a background image of a field with our tree and our selfie and our building. And we're just going to start to kind of look to see what it looks like, even though we didn't take any of these pictures or find this image for um, you know, using for anything like that. So I'm going to go and I'm going to go, I'm going to open my three images that I've already saved. I'm going to go back to my folder where I saved them at my PSD file. I'm going to look, okay, I've got my, my, here it is three pictures. So remember I named it the class period, my last name, my first name, and then what the picture is. And it's my three pictures. So it's like, I'm going to open that up. Okay. So there they are. They're all on different layers. Um, now I want to bring a background in. Okay, from what you may recall is that to bring a background in, we're going to go to file and then we should place embedded. You can place linked, but we want to place embedded. Um, I already found a picture. I found a picture going to Google and looking up um, pasture public domain. And so I want to use a picture that uh, people are interested in sharing. And so they put the picture into the public domain meaning that they are either either it's so old that nobody owns rights to it anymore because it's outside of copyright or they have willingly allowed their picture to be used. So I'm going to go to um, my, my place embedded. I'm going to look. I've got one. I, I found one from a website called dreamstime.com and that it was a pasture and that even though it's watermarked, I'm going to hold the shift key down while I re-angle it. And I'm okay with it you know, just not being perfect, but they put a watermark on it. And, and so even though they've got it listed as in the public domain, they put a watermark on it, which is okay. And so it's okay for this exercise. So I'm going to double click to get the focus off. So now I've got my field now over here in my layers. Okay. Just like a, a hamburger, just like a layer cake is that, you know, I've got parts that sit on top of the other. So it's like, I can bring things on top. So I'm going to start with the building. So here's my building. Um, I can still clean up my building some. Uh, let me do that real quick. And I'm going to come up here. Now, here's, a, here's a wand. I'm going to use a magic wand. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, four down from the top. You got a quick selection tool or a magic wand. Both the quick selection and the magic wand, they use an algorithm. It's called their tolerance, in that you adjust the tolerance. And then what it'll do is it'll pick out um, things that are similar in color to it. Okay, I make sure that I'm on the building layer. Okay, I clicked that area and I can delete it. It's gone. I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna click that, it's gone. Uh, uh, nope. Okay, we're gonna come here. There it is. We're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna get rid of this sign. I may need to use a lasso tool on that. Okay, so I'm just kind of cleaning it up. Okay, so just kind of go around your image, clean your image up a little bit more. Um, you can use your lasso tool, zoom in, get a little bit closer, either use the magnetic lasso. Remember the magnetic lasso will follow along on similar colors. Um, you could use the polygonal lasso. Okay, I may end up having to use a polygonal lasso. Let's go and do that. So we're going to go to the marquee tool. Okay, and I'm just going to click off to get the funk, to get the, uh, the intro or the uh, focus off of that. I'm going to go to the polygonal tool. I'm going to click, just going to trace the outlines of my building. Again, it's not super smooth. I'm just trying to get this uh, done real quick. Okay, we're just kind of coming around, got little sleds underneath the bottom so they can move it. Makes it a portable building. Um, there we go, there we go. Ideally, I want to keep some of the shadows underneath. And so, because shadows are what make things look real or not, okay? And so, so it's always important to have shadows. But for the purpose of this exercise and just being done with the video quickly, um, it's not as clean as it needs to be, okay? We're just kind of following along. Follow along. There we go. Okay, so we got that. Okay, so, so I've got the building selected, but I want to delete everything on this layer that is outside of the selection. So I need to go back up to select, inversed, or the shortcut key is shift control I. I select that. So it's now selected everything, you know, the parts of the truck, and I press the delete key. Now it's gone. Okay, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go select inverse to reselect the building. OK, 
Okay, I can grab my little move tool. Okay, so I've grabbed the little move tool. Okay, so now I can reposition. Now I still got this stuff inside the chain link. I can fix that later. I can come up to these anchor points and I can rotate my building to maybe straighten it up. Okay. I can, if holding the shift key, it'll, you know, change the proportion, you know, so I can make my building smaller. Maybe I want to put it in the background back here or over here. Let's see. I think I think I'll put it here. So, okay. And double click the action. I'm going to go back to my marquee tool and just click once. Okay. There it is. Okay. So now I got my building there. I'm going to bring my selfie up. Okay. There's my selfie. Um, I got a little, got a little artifacts right there. I can clean up and I get the marquee tool. Just going to come down with the marquee tool and just kind of trace myself. It is okay I'm gonna make sure okay so I've selected this area so I don't need to select inverse anything because I've selected that area press delete it's gone um, I do have the issue of the Sun way up there okay and so so I'm just gonna go ahead and ooh, okay so with the move tool it's got my select I'm gonna go ahead and, and I'm gonna shift and make myself a little bit bigger to fill up the screen a little bit more to make it look like a selfie Okay, now if I don't hold the shift, it's going to allow me to do that. So in Photoshop, you can make people look fat by you just pull them a little bit wide. You can make them look skinny by just pinching them in just a little bit. But you don't want to do it to where it looks artificial. Okay, and that's the regular way. Okay, so I'm going to bring myself up. Okay, so that way it looks more natural. Okay, I'm going to go back to the marquee tool. Okay, click off. <clears throat> Tree with cows. I'm going to bring the tree with cows. I'm going to bring the tree above the building layer. Okay. And so, and then, but behind my selfie. Okay. All right. So then I'm here. Okay. So the tree, I'm going to move the, select the move tool. I'm going to position the tree somewhere where it's going to look a little bit better. All this stuff in the back is going to be difficult to clean up. Oh, wrong layer. See, I grabbed the wrong layer. Okay. You do something wrong. Edit, undo, or edit, step backwards okay i'm gonna go back make sure i'm selected on the tree i'm gonna come here i'm gonna move the tree behind me there you go i like that okay so that gives me a little bit less i need to clean up um i'll probably just photoshop i'll probably just trim this bush out um, if something is in the way you know, just click the eyeball okay just click the eyeball to turn it off. All right. Um, so I'm going to go back to this magic wand. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to grab there. Okay. Now remember on the layer, so I delete something. Okay. So I selected that and I deleted it is that it's looking down to the next layer. There's nothing to see there. See the little, the checkered board there means it's transparent, but it gets to the bottom and it sees it there. Now you see here, it says that it's a smart object. Remember to get rid of that smart object. You have to rasterize it. Now remember, a raster la layer is, it's a bitmap, okay, so it will pixelate if you try to make it larger, okay? Um, so I just want you to go through, I'm going to clean it up. Oh, nope, oh, see, wrong layer, wrong layer. So we're going to come up here to the tree layer. I'm going to click in there, delete, click in there, delete, click in there, delete. Okay, so I just want you to clean it up now to where it looks more natural, okay? All right. And then to polish it off, okay, I'm going to select here, polish it off, go to the text tool, and then I want you to type your name in the corner, James Louis, okay, and I want it to be in, I want your name to be in a primary color. Primary colors are what? Red, yellow, and blue, okay, so you need to pick a primary color, okay. Let's see, I'm gonna move, move. All right, it's difficult to see because of the contrast, so I'm going to go with, I'm going to try yellow. A little bit brighter, pops a little bit more. I'm going to create the enrage, or enrage, I'm going to enlarge. Okay, there we go. Okay, clean up your trees, clean all that up.
save the PSD, file save as, you can save it as the, um, the original name you had it as, your class period, your last name, your first name, and you can save it as three pictures because it's a working file. Save it there, and then I want you to export it. File, export, export as, and there it is. Make sure it's a PNG. Export all, and I want you to call this one your class period, last name, first name, and I want you to call it combined. Okay, and call it combined. And then you're going to upload, upload the PNG to professortext.rock slash class. Go team, go. Questions? Ask.